This program is brought to you by Freekeen.com. You work for the uh, college? No. For the city? Yes. A uh, uh, question for you, for the city of Keene? Yes. A uh, question for you. Can you name something you've personally done to help reduce taxpayer expenditures? No. <laughs> I appreciate the honest answer. Uh, how much tax money do you actually get, personally? Um, I'm not sure. I'm late for a meeting. The meeting doesn't start for 15 minutes. You're good. Uh, is there another reason you're fleeing the camera? No. Do you work for the college? Yes. Uh, question for you. Yes. You're going to hear an inclusiveness report today, correct? Um, there should be a draft. Uh, I'm here, consider this me complaining about a lack of inclusiveness. So uh, uh, the guy from freekeen.com reports that he was banned from the university grounds or the college grounds for handing out flyers. How is he included if he's being banned? I think the focus of this is the College City Commission, and I don't represent the college. So I don't think I have anything to comment on that. At this oh, you said you, write, oh, you work for the, I thought you said you work for the college. You work for the city? I work for the city, yes. Okay, so a different, different question for you in that case. Yeah. Can you name something that you've done from your position at the city to reduce taxpayer expenditures? I don't think I'm inclined to comment on that at this time. I'm on my way to staff the College City Commission meeting. Can you tell me how much taxpayer expenditure you cause yourself? I don't think I'm able to provide that information. How much do you receive? But I'm actually late for this meeting, but you're welcome to attend if you want to. What are you paid? by taxpayers who have their money stolen from them to give it to you. That information is publicly available, and I believe there's appropriate channels for you to find that information out. But well, I that I would have to at least know your position in order to do that. What is your position with the city? I'm a city planner. Okay, and, and your name? welcome to attend this meeting. Your name? I'm happy to have you as a member of the public. I appreciate that part, but what's your name? I think she said you don't need to do that on camera, I think. Are you here for the college city meeting? I am, yeah. You represent the students? Yes. May I interview you? Of course. For my Absolutely. YouTube channel? Okay. I, with government officials, I just start the interview. I don't ask. Okay. But you don't, I don't consider you, an, uh, you know, a tax That's recipient that. necessarily. Yeah. Uh, question for you. Yeah. I have heard that uh, there was, I guess, a guy banned from handing out flyers. He was banned from the university, mm -hmm. for, from, the, from the college, for, for handing out flyers. Okay. Uh, and it was also, there was a megaphone involved in part of it. It was partly megaphone, partly flyers. What is the status of students' rights here when it comes to, to uh, First Amendment? Are they allowed to hand out flyers without permission? Yes, um, for posting them in the residence halls, they have to go through residential life, which is fair to make sure there's nothing like lewd or anything like that. Mm -hmm. but, um, as far as I know, I'm part of another club. They've let us just post flyers where we want. Um, I haven't really seen too many people handing out flyers. They usually post them on the boards within the buildings, but usually it seems as though um, First Amendment rights, free speech, protected here. How about Second Amendment rights? Are they protected here? Uh, well, there hasn't been much to do with Second Amendment rights. Like, um, there's not too much going on around here. So if, a, if an adult possesses a firearm, or a student, uh, who's an adult, maybe, yeah. uh, are their rights respected? Or do they seize the firearm? Do they make them leave? Do they you know, arrest them? I'd say the college would go by the New Hampshire laws. I'm from Mass. I don't know everything. Okay. I believe there's open carry here, but yeah. All right. Yeah. I appreciate it. What's your name? Davis. A and your title? Oh, uh, representative of class 2021. All right. Well, you're the most transparent person I've talked to you today. Okay. Except for maybe the city council member. Okay. All right. Thanks much. Yeah, no Are you with the uh, university? I or the, the college, I mean. I Question for you. I understand, you're, I understand you're having an inclusiveness report today. Uh, we're having a meeting to discuss it, I believe. So how can you be considered inclusive if you're banning people from the university, from the college, I for... For handing out flyers. Thank you for your questions. 
someone just said, I did call campus safety, and then she said something about filming. So this should get more interesting, not less. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic Liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.